check it out. Check it out now. The Simp Chronicles just won't end, man. Now, uh, Rob Kardashian, he's actually barred from being anywhere near Black China. There's a restraining order that was actually put in place by the judge today. Rob didn't even fight it. He said, Judge, you got it. Listen, man, I fucked up. I was emotional. I'm simping. Fuck it, okay? His lawyer did not really fight the restraining order being put down. Now, you might be saying, why is the restraining order put down? The restraining order is for two things. Number one, he can't go around her, which, by the way, might benefit him more than her because he's a type of sucker that even though he's crying over that she cheated on him with a bunch of men, he would probably still take her back. So it's a good thing that there's a restraining order out. Of course, for her, apparently she claims he was abusive with her. He claims she was abusive with him. I believe it both ways. Rob kind of looks like the type of guy that a chick would put hands on. And I don't know if it Rob's the type of guy that would put hands on a chick, but I'm not down black China in that situation. But not only is it physical, it's also online. And I'm talking about the restraining order, which means Rob could no longer post about her. He can't say nothing that is defamatory or even complimentary about her because it just says cut that shit the fuck out. They're going to go to this big, drag-out, beat-down, brutal custody battle, and that's where the money's going to get really sorted out. But for Rob, this is what his lawyer was basically saying. Yo, yo, my, my client is really emotionally distressed. You can imagine. He fell in love with this chick, okay? She gave and she fulfilled the part of his life that was necessary at the time. He bought her all types of cars, okay, or probably leased them. Well, actually, he probably bought them and gave it to her, and she was driving them, right? And then he was paying 16000 a month. She was staying in the fucking crib, okay? He's buying her a bunch of jewelry. He's buying her drugs. He's doing whatever she wants. She kind of falls out of love with him. It was questionable that she was in love with him at all. Now, after seeing videos of her being with other men, supposedly in the bed, that him and her had their baby girl, the daughter name is Dream, he snapped. He fucking snapped, okay? Now... He's since repossessed those cars, right? So he said all them cars got to come back. Uh, fuck all that shit. He's trying to do right. However, Black China right now is pulling a classic PR move to really just get some money, all right? Now, she might have a great case and a great cause to why she's doing it, but she's taking everything public. She's making a lot of public statements with her attorneys to kind of let the public know Rob is a piece of shit and I deserve a lot of fucking money, okay? So pretty much, this is where we at. And as the time goes by, we're going to get to hear more information because from what's now coming out, there's drug use supposedly on both sides. There's talks of suicides and threats to kill each other. And we know things might happen in the moment. Of course, you say some crazy shit. But when you hear like people might be drawn for weapons and it was kind of getting out of hand, we're getting all that information out now. Again, this is all leading up to the custody battle. Whoever got custody of the kid will be the person either saving money or getting money. Get a call, Mox, you guys like them, subscribe. Restraining order, put in place. Rob, stay the fuck away from Black China, man. Let her fuck them niggas, man. Yo, she don't want you. Get out, get out of here, nigga. <sighs> Come on.